says he does not support increasing COVID-19 stimulus checks for 600 2000 because he worries the monies won't stimulate the economy and get the jobless back to work. A nearly $2 trillion COVID relief proposal by President Trump. Many Americans knew right then that leading Democrats were sabotaging the economy ahead of the election for political gain. During those crucial months, while Speaker Pelosi stalled COVID relief, thousands of Americans died. Tens of thousands of small businesses closed. Hospitals and nursing homes struggled, while millions of Americans were left jobless. In the election, Democrats and Congress paid a steep price for this cruel inaction, with voters giving House Republicans nearly two-thirds of the seats needed to take back the majority. I thank President Trump for signing bipartisan legislation, even with its flaws, that included several separate bills that hitched a ride on the annual funding bill for the government, including COVID relief, a first-ever ban on surprise medical bills, and $328 billion in urgent tax relief for families and local businesses. I recognize that today's CASH Act will pass with bipartisan support, Republicans and Democrats alike, and I respect the decision of each member of Congress. But for me, I worry that this whopping $463 billion won't do what's needed, stimulate the economy, or get the jobless back to work. At this point in the recovery, the fact is it's hard to stimulate a Main Street that's locked down by local politicians. This won't help local restaurants get their workers permanently back or hospitality and convention industries rehire their workers for the long term and won't help get energy workers back on the job. Will this stimulate our local economies? Not a lot. What we know is I'm eating, sorry. That's a lie. That's a lie. Here's your alert. That's a lie. That's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. Because he's advocating that if people get more money, but then can't spend it in certain places, it doesn't revitalize the economy. That means that by virtue of what I said earlier, they would fucking save it. So when economy does open up, they'd have a lot more money to inject back into the economy. So they're lying. He's lying. He's, he's fucking, that guy's lying. That guy up there is, he's fucking lying. Wherever the fuck my finger needs to point. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this corny shit. I'm going to act like I'm really pointing at that. That guy's a fucking liar. That, he's lying. Hard. That's a trick. That's a beautiful trick. Because if that were the case about giving people money and it won't stimulate the economy, why cut taxes? That's giving people more of their money back, right? Why cut taxes then? You're fucking lying. You're a liar. You're such a liar. And it's easy to be able to figure that out. Because what you end up with is... What we do know is that much of this extra $1,600 will go to pay down credit card debt. Which proves that debt is a bad thing. You're arguing for eliminating college debt. Wow, way to, way, way to fuck that one up. Uh, or savings. It'll go into savings. Which is what rich people do. Again, bringing... I told you I wasn't wrong. I told you I wasn't fucking wrong. I said rich people are more frugal than poor people when it comes to their money. So why would poor people immediately put it into their savings? You liar, you. I even make new purchases online at Walmart, Best Buy, or Amazon. But when we complain that Jeff Bezos is making billions and trillions of dollars, it's your conservative buddies that come out and say, well, <clears throat> sorry. Well, it just looks like the, the rich people deserve what they got. You know, they made their living. They are happy. They provided a service that was so great to us that we just decided we had to buy into it. So don't get mad at Jeff Bezos. Build your own business up from the ground up. Make your own money. And then when you ask them, will you support it? And they'll look at you like, no. <laughs> they'll look at you like, no. Support 
businesses that aren't white and aren't big conglomerates? Nah. Yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Is it much of this extra $1,600? will go to pay down credit card debt or savings or even make new purchases online at Walmart, Best Buy, or Amazon. So rather than merely sending checks to credit card companies, this half a trillion dollars could more than double the number of small businesses and mid-sized businesses getting PPP forgivable loans to hire their workers and stay alive through the recovery. It could make sure airline workers have secure jobs. There's another lie. It goes in tandem with what I said, though. Online at Walmart, Best Buy, or Am Best Buy, number of small businesses and mid-sized businesses getting PPP forgivable loans to hire their workers and stay alive through the recovery. It could make sure airline workers have. That's about democratic leadership. That's clever. I like that. That's a very slow lead into like democratic. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Whoopsies, whoopsies, whoopsies. I made it out of clay. My dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. So that's a lie. That's another lie. Um, why focus so hard on small businesses having PPP when you know that bigger corporations stole PPP? So you shouldn't even bring that up or mention that because there was no congressional oversight, even federal oversight into who got what money. And the stories just keep growing and growing about how rich people got that money. And that should be an immediate, like, guillotine situation but we're not ready for that yet because we still think in forms of like being able to control our actual uh we're uh st still trying to control our actual weight of how we think about things and how we consider aid to people to even be worth it but at the same time that's also a lie like for the same exact reason why open things you want you're arguing to open things up because if you're saying give people ppp then what customers are coming in to spend money so you're arguing that we should help out small businesses because they can generate revenue but there will be no revenue from the poor people thanks <laughs> sorry just got a donation from a, from a person um, I can't say this out loud. That was just a weird bit. Like that was just weird for it to come up. Anyway, so you're arguing that we should have more PPP to keep these businesses open, but these businesses receive no business if you give the people little to nothing, so they don't have the luxury of spending left, right, or center on restaurants. You're assuming that poor people that six hundred dollars is enough to make those moves. You're fucking. You're you're shitty. You're shitty. Secure jobs for more than just a few months and do more to replenish frontline healthcare workers. We should be focused on the families that are hurting most, none more than the 8 million Americans who lost their job due to COVID. Our top priority, in addition to defeating the virus, it's more than that. He's quoting like now numbers is to get them back to work. So far, is to get them who lost their job due to COVID. Our top priority, in addition to defeating the virus, is to get them back to work. If you defeat the virus, you'll be able to get them back to work. You see? They're talking about us like we're literal cattle. They're talking about us like we're literal cows led to the slaughter. We can't open the slaughterhouse until we, you know, open the slaughterhouse. And so maybe we should just open the slaughterhouse to get people back. This money won't get people back to work. You're correct, because the places where they work aren't fucking open. You want to keep people satiated till things open up. Then you can talk about people getting back to work. This isn't a hard formula. So far, Congress has already approved more than $20,800 directly to a family of four with one parent out of work. That's on $20,800. Them back to work. 
So far, Congress has already approved more than $20,800 directly to a family of four with one parent out of work. That's on top of their state unemployment benefits. If we want to do even more for the jobless, this same huge amount of money today could get, give every unemployed worker from COVID and their employer a $50,000 incentive to return to work. With this huge amount of money, you could even give the bottom 90% of workers in America an income tax-free year for 2021, a full year where you go to work each day for yourself rather than for Washington. Am I bugging? Am I bugging here, or did he just not say... Instead of us taking taxes from you, we'll just let you keep your whole paycheck. But what if you don't earn it? It's too easy. And they got to be doing this on purpose. They got to just be saying whatever, man. Can you imagine what a no tax 21 would do for low and middle income families? That can find work. What is wrong with you, homie? You're skipping the literal necessary details here a nearly $2 trillion COVID release proposal by President Trump. Many Americans knew right then that leading Democrats were sabotaging while due to COVID. Unemployed worker from COVID and their employer, bottom 90%, we can simply hold this. What jobs do you think are being held back because of COVID? There's still work from home programs that aren't firing people. While there are work from home programs that are firing people. What the fuck do you think is going on here? It's money back. Not hastily spend another half trillion dollars we don't have. While we assess the impact vaccinations are having on consumer confidence and unlocking of the economy. There are a lot of ways to spend money, if that's the goal. But in my view, let's be smart about it. Let's target assistance to those who need it most. The Ways and Means Committee should be the place to explore and analyze these options, not just have a bill that spends over $400 billion hastily dropped on us at the last minute. I know, working together, Republicans and Democrats, we can do better to help people get back to work and truly help this recovery. I re Why is it getting back to work that needs to help with the recovery? Why do you keep harping on that? Why do all Republicans since fucking May have all been saying that same shit? I know why, but like I'm being like literal. Why? Why is that your attack point? That's been your attack point for a very long time, and I don't understand that. Because that's like alienating the exact people you're trying to help. The reason why people aren't going back to work is because the virus still rages out there. And they don't want to take a risk on getting that and possibly having long-term issues. Like, it's, I know it's not death, but like it's still something that might make you unable to work regardless. Like, remember 9-11? People survived that, but they had irreparable lung damage, and they had trauma and all that, and they were there was a fund that was set up just to pay for them to be able to survive, too. Sorry. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get what you're asking for. How was this tool so certain that the credit card debt wasn't accumulated in local businesses? Yeah. Did you know that people could buy diapers at Walmart, that a lot of us had to use our credit cards to pay the gas bill and light bills? And the GOP called them Democrats elite. Yeah, like, how do you, how are you assuming? All right, so let's, let's do the thing. So there's a lot of assumptions that come across when it comes to I'm so sorry. What the fuck? It, I, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I am just burping all over the place. I just had a bomb-ass Philly cheesesteak. That's what I was eating. I saved that shit for this stream specifically. Um, <laughs> it's so weird to me. It's so weird to me that they're so confident and like actively attacking poor people as though they're a virus plague on society itself. Oh, uh, we've got two pandemics. The poor people are rising up and 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 the COVID virus rages. 
And it's like, okay, so at this point in time, you are probably one of the people who are on the fence about whether or not you should even subscribe to a party. You know, we're still talking about the duopoly system. We're still talking about Democrats and Republicans. We know that there's the Libertarian Party. There's the Working Class Party. There's the Progressive Party. There's the Communist Party. There's the Green Party. I probably said Green Party already. Um, There's all these different parties. There's all these different systems. And there's all these different types of forms of government. Anarchist, left-like, socio-angelic, and all of it doesn't really make sense to you because it's like, all right, I'm looking for just people who have my best interests at heart. Okay. That's fine. That's great. That's okay. I want you to focus here. I want you to focus with me real fucking quick. Oh, there's something on my eyebrow. And you guys are just going to let that say that. I get that. I get that. I really feel that. Trust me, I do. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice here. When getting into all of these, when you see the shit that you just saw, Right now in this situation, as much as you could say that Democrats and Republicans, the entire government system is failing us, there is literal difference between failure of intent and straight up intentional disaster. Failure of intent is what the Democrats are failing with right now. You'll notice that like a lot of people are advocating for the Democrats to use this $2,000 stimulus bill, this $2,000 idea that they wanted to pass, this, that, and the other, as a political weapon to help win the Gen- Georgia Senate races. I understand that. I get that. I feel that. I, I, I know that that's what you're thinking is the next move for them, and they don't really care. Assume that they don't care. Watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play into your fears a little bit. Assume that they don't care. Assume nicely and neatly that what's happening right now is simply a political ploy and that the powers that be don't actually care about the machine's machinations of how it puts the chains on you. Assume that what they want is to push more for people so that way they are propost- they're posturing as though they want more for people and if it passes, it gets them in their good graces. If it doesn't, it looks like they fought for it, right? Same thing Trump did. I need to talk to you about the Republicans though. What's ending up happening here is that they're showing outward disdain for even using it as a political weapon to stay in power. There's a difference between failure of intent, the need for somebody to posture as though this is truth, this is realism, this is a great point of view that you should be ascribing to, and not putting it in enough words to get people to be like, hey, yeah, that guy's right. We should be getting $2,000. What the fuck is going on over here? Who's that guy? What the fuck is this? What's happening here? What? Yeah, I don't understand this political system, but I damn sure should be getting my tax dollars. Absolutely. I don't understand it at all. I don't get it. And there's a difference. Sorry. And there's a difference between what I just said and somebody willingly intentional disaster. I'm going to let you posture for more. So that way we can exploit the things that you want more out of. So we can make you look like the bad guys for even asking. If it were really a situation between like political advice and political juncture, what you would notice is actually that the advice is use this as a political tool to win your next election. The thing that's important to you the most. Versus, I won't even entertain that and I will actually shoot that down because it makes me look like more of a warrior in the end. It's a political game. You stand to lose nothing by fighting for 2000 if unless you put it into your head, oh, I'm going to lose the 600 So then why is the big guy posturing for the 2000 and the guys under him that subscribed to him for so long are like, no. Because they know that the war is not, they're giving up on the, that, that guy. They're literally giving up on that guy and saying, well, all right, we tried to back him, but that didn't really work that well. So I guess we'll just, uh, you know, we'll just uh, fucking go with the other guy. And they're clever with that. They're super fucking clever with that. To the point where they're holding out on literally anything that matters to them as far as a party 
as long as they can keep in the good graces of the voters that they know will still be behind after Trump leaves. And that Republican Party is trying to stick it to the Democrats to make their voters say, well, why the fuck do the Democrats want to sit $400 million in aid to this country and the bloated bill and the omnibus and what the fuck is this? I don't want none of that. Just give me my money. Some people are seeing through to it, but there's still a massive movement of Trump didn't lose the election. So you got to defeat these one at a time. The problem that I have with even beginning to discuss this is that I feel like all of our energy should be forced on defeating each of these strongly each and every time. Oh, Trump didn't lose the election. No, fuck you. I got the evidence to prove that he did lose the election and you know he lost the election. And you're just sitting here being a sore loser because that's exactly what you live for. <laughs> So stupid, bro. So fucking stupid. And you make it easy. You make it easy for me to dissect this. You make it so fucking easy. And like, I still be here like, no way, son. No way. You can't be ki- You gotta be kidding me. This is like, de-estab- break the system, bro. Break the system, bro. And they live in that. And that's... I feel like I already made this piece. Conservatives are fucking hypocrites. But that's what they are. House just... House voted to approve $2,000 coronavirus stimulus checks to most American taxpayers. The measure puts pressure on Senate Republicans who are likely to follow through despite Trump's support. You like you have the win right there. We're going to align with President Trump who got his election stolen and we're going to do the last thing that he said. And if you want more of us following his lead, vote Republican all the way to 2100, baby. Why won't they take the easy win? Because at core, they realize, oh shit, if we tell people, we could give them fucking more money. Hold on. If we tell people that we could give them more fucking money, maybe they'll realize that money isn't even a real concept. And if they realize that money isn't a real concept, maybe they'll revolt against us because we've been using money as a reason to keep them subjectively poor and escaping all of life's great... Think about it. All right, I get 50,000... Ooh, Jesus, y'all letting all this shit stay on my face. What is wrong with y'all? I hate this chat. This chat of three people. <laughs> I hate this chat. What are you doing to me here? I'm looking crispy and crusty. Anyway, back to my funny face. So you're telling me that the government could just give us more money? And if the government could give us more money, then why the hell are they stagnating the wages? Hold on. They must be doing that on purpose. If they're doing that on purpose, how much are they hiding? Maybe they could have all just given us reparations and they could have done it in a way that financially benefited the entirety of the country. Because since we put that money back into the economy and back into our local economies, making our neighborhoods better and safer. And with the more spread of the money, we would attract more wealthier donors that would allow us to be able to spend more money on things that we actually cared about and we wouldn't even feel poor even though we were in the poorest district because even in the poorest district we'd have enough money to be able to survive and be able to change our way of living in case anything else happened and we wouldn't be worried about medical be- uh, medical debt or anything about housing or even where our next meal was coming from we'd actually have so much of an abundance of it that we wouldn't even want to spend it as much we wouldn't go crazy or wild we would just understand that that's where we live in whereas where things are scarce while our fruits are better are oh, I'm sorry are bountiful and if we have all that stuff in place then what the fuck have you been doing to us this entire fucking time destroy the fucking establishment already but y'all not ready for that y'all not ready to do that y'all not ready for that shit y'all not ready for that shit y'all not ready nor do you want to do it you know you're afraid we're all afraid 